So if a patient goes to you and they're wearing a denture, what are their options in your practice when it comes to dental implants? Well, um, we've got we've got a couple of options. We've okay. got relatively good options and we've got really good options. So a lot of times if you need uh, to start small, you know, for example, uh, you know, we've got uh, a lady that comes in, she's wearing nothing on the bottom but a denture. She, we could put two implants in down there and we could have something that snaps in and out and that is, I mean, that is absolutely better than having no implants at all. Okay. Um, we can take that step, we can take it up a notch too. We can place maybe four or five implants on the bottom and now we give you teeth that don't come in and out and your function goes up exponentially. I mean, that's a totally different- When you say function, we're talking about eating? Eating, absolutely, yes. So you go from being able to chew nothing um, because on the lower denture, it's just this wobbly piece of plastic that fits in your mouth. Lower dentures almost never fit. That is, that is a tough situation okay. to be in. To one that doesn't come in and out. And they're solid, you can eat whatever you want. You can eat whatever you want. Now what about the upper denture? Because the upper dentures have suction, right? They're, 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 so that's how you they're make, okay. so in a situation where, no, they're not okay. <laughs> okay. Because there's a lot of problems with, okay, yes, they work. In fact, they fit a whole lot better, better, better than lower dentures, dentures, traditional dentures, no implants, because they have a suction on the back. But that suction actually has a bunch of problems with it. You can't taste anything. And you, you're going to have a speech problem as well. Your S's, you're gonna, your S's are going to be louder than you've ever said. Because the S's. roof of the mouth is covered? Right. So your tongue has nowhere, it doesn't know where to go when it's speaking. Okay. And the airflow across the top of it makes a whistling sound. So you'll, you'll be able to, to pick up on it. It's, unfortunately, a lot of dentures wear make a lot of S sounds that are, well, it sounds like you're whistling. Okay. But no, we can change that completely. Because when you take the palate out because you've added implants on the top, all of a sudden now you can change. You're, or excuse me, all of a sudden, now you can taste. Uh, you can, uh, stuff that was spicy before, oh yeah, you can taste it now. Uh, sweet, savory, I mean, I love food too myself, so I okay. can't imagine being, uh, not being able to taste food. Especially like wine and things like that. Absolutely, well, what do they say? You taste wine on your palate, right? Okay. I don't know if that's actually true. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I don't, I'm not a wine guy, but anyways, uh, yeah, everything changes. It improves the way you taste, but it also improves the way you speak. Remember, we're talking about removing the roof of the mouth. You don't have that lisp anymore. The roof of the denture. The roof of the denture, exactly. Yeah, okay. Sorry, roof of the mouth, roof of the denture. Yeah, That actually okay. is a pretty big difference. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the, uh, the denture wear, it's, it's a, so a fixed set of teeth or snap in, snap out, you don't like snap in, snap out teeth? Well, uh, go, with the, go with the fixed option. You, you can do both, okay? Actually, um, we've got a bunch of patients that have transitioned. So they started with a four on the top and we do a snap in and out. And you know they got the retention that they wanted, but could there be improvement? Yes. So we just added a couple more implants. In fact, actually, isn't that what your dad did? Well, my dad started out with a snap in, snap out. Uh -huh. Lots of maintenance involved. I remember right? the story about your dad. It's, and, it's cool. and now he, he's 84 and now he got his new set of teeth and he thinks young girls like him and he's smiling all over Maybe the place. Maybe young girls and, do like him. And he's, I don't think so. And he's got a, plays a trumpet and uh, he's smiling what? all he's the time. he's playing the trumpet? And now he's hilarious or he thinks he's funny. <laughs> okay. It's like they return back to their personality. And yeah. you told me that. Yep. Like when you give people their teeth back, Yeah. they're pumped again. They are pumped. They're pumped to be back to the way that they were before. Because that's what everybody's interested in. You know, you wanna, you wanna improve longevity. You wanna, you wanna improve your health, but you also wanna feel like you're younger again, you know, and that really applies to my patient population because my okay. patient populations, those, you know, a lot of them are retired and they have this dentistry that they thought they, they, they weren't candidates for implants. And when they come in and we change their, we, we, we change their lives by being able to put these implants in. You know, I told you my, you know, my father, you brought up my father, yeah. but he said, you know, patients need to know this, that dental implants are the most expensive thing you're ever going to do because you're eating out all the time. You're taking trips. You're going on dates. This is this is his joke. Yeah. His sarcasm. Yeah, but because the expense comes from all the cool stuff you're going to get to do with these new these new teeh. Okay. This good. new set of teeth. Yeah.